found where it's in a flashing. Now, siding is right at the bottom to the flashing. It's full of dirt. So let me get the grinder and see if I can fix it. Okay, so let me explain. All right, so the problem is, if you look inside there, you see the wood siding? The old, there's the old siding. And that buds up to the, to the shingles there. And then I put this over it. And what happens is the dirt collects there to that flashing. Cut the siding away. And then clean it up. You want to see the copper flashing. And, uh, now it's cold. Now it's easy. No more dirt. It's like the siding is a problem because it's vinyl siding, or in this case, it's aluminum siding. But it causes problems when it comes to meet butt up with a, another roof. And the problem is it's too low, and the old wood siding was too low. So what happens is debris, the debris collects there. Look at the debris. Look at it. Debris collects in there, and they couldn't do a, a proper attachment with a flat roof here. Look. So they put tar, but they couldn't get to it because they, it's hard. Look where they put the tar here, but they never got the roof right there to the corner. <laughs> Sure, let's explain to you. I'm gonna explain to you and then hopefully you anybody with a shingle roof knows what's going on. Check the, check the rusted nail there. See the rusted nail? There's a rusted nail there. Okay. So what happens is the debris collects here and blocks the water from from flowing freely here underneath here. And you see the debris here? And when it collects like this, it diverts the water to the side. And that, that's why the nails get rusted, because the water has to flow sideways. So that one is rusted there. But now, just by cleaning this, it should solve the problem. That's just one way. Look at that rusted nail there, but not too bad. So what you do is, that's one way to fix the, the problem. See, the lake was along this wall, okay? And the debris could not flow because the siding was against the roof, the wood siding and the... Well, I'm gonna really show you now where the other problem is. Now most of the problem is solved, but here's the big problem. So, the guys put the tar here, whoever tried to fix this roof, on the shingles, and they, they, they then put tar right here. Let me show you, see the problem. They, they stuck this uh, shingle with tar right there. Water goes underneath here, and the tar prevents it from flowing out. Let me get a knife and show you. Bring me a knife, Lewis. I'm gonna show you how serious this problem is. I'm gonna show you, okay? Is the video still working? Yeah. So I'm gonna cut this open. I wanna show you how, why, it's, why it's leaking. Very, very interesting. And this, I see this all the time. They block the flow of the water. <clears throat> so look at this. This is torn right there. Let me see if I can break it open. I'll fix it. I want to show this on the video because this is very important. Right there. So that's what happens. A lot of people just use a tar and never think what they what cause they do. Mate. All right. The water was flowing 
coming down here and couldn't go further because this is stuck. So it will flow sideways, sideways in here, underneath this roof. That's what happened. So I'm going to fix that now. I don't want to take it all apart. But Turbo poly seal and a fleece. You have a fleece? Yeah. And a brush. And so what I do is I, I paint this with turbo poly seal to make this proper transition. And um, you get it from Bergstrom.com. Simple, simple, simple. Paint this on. Just like that. All right, sir. I'll give it to you. Give it to you. So you cut yourself a piece. And this is how easy it is. See now? Make a transition from the from the rubber to the mem uh, from the rubber membrane, from the roofing membrane to the flashing. And that you tie your flashing in. And you're done. So with that, and you're all done. Never will leak. Never. That's how simple it is to make a, a transition from a roof to flashing so you can tie it in. Flashing from this roof is done, is now connected to the flash. I mean, the roof is now connected to the flashing. So that's how you fix uh, the transition between a rubber roof and a metal roof, a metal flashing. It's, it's a common problem, very common problem. So, again, clean the, the dirt off from the flashing and the, and the shingles, and then uh, remove the siding. Cut the siding up higher. In this case, I have it a, over an inch, inch and a half, and I cleaned the flashing, and then I I sealed the the, the the bottom there, and you have it. Okay. I'm the flat roof doctor. I know a thing or two because I've seen a thing or two. Blah blah blah. This was not a pretty job though, because. Whoever did the siding and the previous siding, so I'm just making it leak proof, but nobody can see this. But it's still, I like to do a neat job, but it was not that pretty. But anyway, subscribe, thumbs down if you don't like it, thumbs up if you're okay with it, and I see you on the next video. Thank you for watching.